Hi, this is Brittany from the blog Fun Ideas to Share, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make my favorite homemade rolls. So let's get started. You're going to start by placing a half cup of warm water into a measuring cup or bowl like this. Then add to that your two tablespoons of yeast and a little bit of sugar, about a teaspoon. Mix that all together and let it raise for 10 to 15 minutes. Now you're going to take your yeast mixture and place it into your mixing bowl. I like to use this Bosch. It's really old, but it works great. You can use a KitchenAid or whatever you have that would work. You can even do this in a bowl without a mixer by hand. Then you're going to take your cup and a half of milk and put it in a measuring container like this that's microwave safe. You're going to place it in your microwave and warm it up for about a minute. Then you're going to add that milk to your yeast mixture in your mixer and blend it together for a few seconds. Next you're going to add your half cup of sugar and mix that in. In a separate bowl place your two eggs and beat them together and then you're just going to add that into the rest of the mixture. Then add your one teaspoon of salt and blend that in. Next you're going to take your half cup of butter that's been sitting out and is at room temperature. Just cut it up into littler chunks and then you're going to add that into your mix. The butter isn't going to blend in very well until you start adding the flour so don't worry if you can still see the chunks. Next it's time to start adding your flour and the recipe calls for five to six cups. I usually end up using all six cups. Don't mind my messy pouring. I'm not left-handed and I was trying to film with my right hand so that's why I'm making such a mess. Anyway, you just keep adding your flour until you've added your five or six cups and you can tell that the dough isn't super sticky anymore. You can see I wasn't measuring my cups very accurately, but it's just because I didn't have two hands. After all the flour is mixed in, the dough will pull away from the sides of the bowl like this. You can see it all come together. After the dough is all mixed together, you're going to transfer the dough into a large bowl and cover it with plastic wrap. Let it raise until it's doubled in size. Then you're going to flour your countertop and get that ready to roll the dough out. Grab your Pam or cooking spray and get your cookie sheets greased and ready for the rolls to be placed on. Then you're going to dump your dough out onto your floured countertop. And depending on how sticky it still is, you can see mine's still a little sticky, you're going to want to knead in some flour. I got a little bit too much, so I scooted it out of the way and just kneaded in what I had there. Next, you're going to take your dough and split it into four equal sections. Another easy way to do this is by taking your pizza cutter and just cutting through the dough. For some reason I didn't do that this time. Try and make the sections as equal as possible so that your rolls will end up being the same size. Now it's time to roll out the dough so just flour your rolling pin. You're going to roll out one section at a time into a circle and you want the dough to be about a fourth of an inch thick. Just keep rolling until it's looking good about this size. And sorry about the dragon in the foreground there. My son was filming for me. He thought it would be funny to show his little dragon. <laughs> so then you're going to take a pizza cutter and slice the circle up just like you would a pizza into eight separate slices. Then you want to roll each of those little triangles into a crescent shape and make sure you tuck the tails under so that when the rolls rise the little point doesn't end up popping up. Okay, 
And you're just gonna transfer your rolls onto your grease cookie sheet. And I do two rows of six and then four going down the side, just like this here. You should end up with exactly 32 rolls from one batch. Then you just need to cover the rolls to let them raise. I use these plastic covers from Orson Gigi, which are super convenient. If you don't have these, you can just use plastic wrap, but make sure you grease the side that the rolls are going to touch. After you let the rolls raise, they should look like this. It'll take one to two hours. You bake the rolls at 375 for 10 to 12 minutes, and when they come out of the oven, they should be golden brown like this. You want to take a stick of butter and just butter the tops of them. Place them in your favorite roll basket, and they're ready to be served. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions on how to make them, and good luck.